I used to go home back with another video. It looks like I'm naked, but I promise I have a shirt on. Anyways, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sunstalker Instant Warm Bronzer. Usually I go for cream bronzer, but it's Rihanna, okay? I was intrigued. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to spend... $30 on this bronzer so that's what I did and we're gonna review it so yes let's get started so the claim I'm just gonna read the back of the box it's instant sun soap glow that lasts blendable buildable transfer resistant so it is how better blend honestly I don't have any doubts Rihanna she just does it she always does so you open it and out comes this pretty ass bitch okay she always does it with the packaging it's a rose gold oh it's reflective too so you know to you see yourself right here you open it i can get the fucking shit open you open it it comes with a mirror here you can probably see my camera whatever comes with a mirror and then of course the compact powder which is the bronzer it has a fb fenty beauty i swatched it at the store i went to sephora and i was like because i don't usually buy powder bronzer so i was like what color do you think i should get i like warm bronzers i don't like cool tones and she shows me the coolest tone bronzer and I was like, never mind, I'm good. Anyway, so I picked up the color Coco Naughty. Let me swatch it for you. Watch. Yeah. Talk to me nice. Wow. Okay, so the swatch is beautiful. And even just me blending it in my arm is super blendable. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and try it. Okay, y'all, so the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe 527. Bitch, this house brand new, so it was about to go crazy. But let me just, yeah, dab. I don't want to go too heavy, ho. Start on my forehead. I'm honestly just going to use the mirror that comes with it. Let's do it like Auntie Jackie. You know, she'd be like this. <laughs> oh, wow, this color is so pretty. Wow. So far, super blendable. And it doesn't come off um hella opaque if you know what i mean like it's not too um what am i trying to say it's something that you could definitely build up it's not something that like you do one swatch and it's like oh shit that's a little bit too much but honestly i feel like i picked the fucking perfect color wow now let's go to our cheeks wow this is so pretty and this is honestly not too much. It's not too harsh. It's like the perfect orange bronzy color. I think it's perfect. She dropped this. Perfect timing for summer. You feel me? I'm trying to look like a bronze goddess. Not no cool toned ass ashy person. Wow, that's so pretty. That's beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see, but okay. This is with bronzer, without. And it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely super blendable and something that you can build up. Like, I kind of put a lot on my brush and it's not too harsh. Like, bitch, I'm impressed. Moral of the fucking story. 30 bucks <laughs> spent well. Ooh, okay, Ruby. I wonder, does that have a smell? No, it has literally no smell. Monique, you're a weirdo. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to build it up because I like to be a bronze dad, bitch. Mind you, I did all of my makeup. And just didn't do my bronzer and my contour and everything like that but wow no y'all seriously impressed like it's so soft and subtle yet it's not like you dip your brush in there and there's no product you know what i'm saying i think they really captured the fact that it's blendable and it's buildable because you can start off if you want just like you know you're going to the beach a little bit of bronzer boop 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 you're good to go or you can build it up i'm not that type of person to have heavy contour with bronzer i just don't like that but if you wanted to you could definitely do that you know you just got to dip it back in the pan a couple more times i don't think they wanted to like capture the essence of you dip your brush in there and bitch it's there you know what i'm saying they wanted something that was light wet lightweight something for the summer that you can build up so they definitely did capture that but let me put on the rest of my makeup and see how it's looking okay 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 bitch i'm back now that i'm looking like a bronze goddess i just put blush highlight and lip gloss on but overall honestly this bitch right here is about to be my go-to for the summer okay my thing is when i find something that i really like i don't have the urge to try something new unless it's like something by rihanna or something that's super hyped up 
But this is about to be a staple go-to. 10 out of 10 for the packaging. Love the bronzer. Super buildable, super lightweight. Not too harsh. I picked the perfect color. So if you're like my skin tone and you like, like more of a warm, bronzy look, definitely go for the Coco Naughty. And I love the name. It's so cute. You know, like I'm little... I look like a little Coco Kiss, but I'm a little naughty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's probably ugly as fuck. Anyways, definitely go buy this. It's worth $30 in my opinion. You get 0.22 ounce, which is standard amount. And yeah, that's honestly pretty much all I have to say about the bronzer. There's not really much to say about it besides the fact that you need to go spend your coin. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want me to do a look on this like whole makeup look, like a tutorial go ahead let me know down below i'll definitely do that because bitch my makeup turned out great today i ain't going to my own horn but do do you feel me okay but i will see you guys next week thank you for watching go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button you feel me do some for yourself do some for others i'll see y'all next time yeah